All right, and welcome back to all of our students out there in attendance for the second annual Primavera Digital College Fair. We're excited to have all you guys with us, and right now we've got Staff Sergeant Andrea Means with the U.S. Army. She's going to go through a little presentation for you guys. Um, again, you know, if you guys have any questions, anything you want to ask, make sure you join into the chat room. That chat room is located in the announcement section on the PSP homepage directly below the short form where you can request more information after the presentation is over. So you've got the video that you're watching right now, the short form is directly below it where you can request more information afterwards, and then directly below that is the announcements page where you can jump into the chat room that we have and ask any other questions that you might have of Staff Sergeant Means or any of the other presenters. So without further ado, Andrea, I'll let you go ahead and take it away with your presentation. All right, let's get started. Um, as he stated, my name is Staff Sergeant Means, and I'm a recruiter here with the Chandler Center. We're located off of Chandler Boulevard. And uh, I wanted to start with you guys today with talking about one of our programs that we have to offer with the United States Army and Army Reserves, which is called the Concurrent Admissions Program, also known as CONAP. The Concurrent Admissions Program, CONAP, is a partnership between the Army Recruiting Command and over 1,900 participating colleges to mutually advance the goals of lifelong learning and post-secondary education for future soldiers. Basically, it's a partnership. It's a kind of sort of like a contract um, with the Army and other colleges that you may be interested in. To be eligible for this program, you would enlist in the regular Army, and that's normally a three to six year enlistment option, training guaranteed and over 150 job skills. Or you can enlist in the Army Reserves, there's a six year um, enlistment obligation, but you'll also still receive that training guaranteed and over 150 job skills. You would also be in our what's called our Future Soldier Program. It's an automatic enrollment upon enlistment, and you'll remain in the program until you ship out to basic training, which can be in any of the other locations that we have throughout the U.S. How does it work? The future soldier emails a college referral and intent to enroll form to a CONAP college stating that they intend to enroll during or after their enlistment. So say for instance, you're interested in going to NAU. Well, you'll log on to this website and you'll fill out the forms, the required forms necessary, and send them to that school. Once that, that school receives those forms, they will have your information. So all you have to do um, after your enlistment obligation is to apply to that school. You're already guaranteed your enlistment, granted that you meet all of the prerequisites. The college acknowledges the intent to enroll and sends information about the college to the future soldier. The CONAP form produces guidelines about applying for admission, preparing for the academic experience, beginning college work during their enlistment, and staying in touch with the college for any other information that you may need throughout that time. The intent is for soldiers to transition directly from the Army or Army Reserves into the CONAP. It basically helps you with that transitioning from coming off of active duty or leaving the reserves and getting back into the civilian life of starting college. Soldiers or veterans must meet admission requirements and as students are subject to the college degree requirements that appear in the catalog at the time of enrollment. So as I stated before, you would also have to meet the requirements that the, the school offers. So you just can't say, hey, I filled out the CONAP form, so I'm guaranteed to go to the school. You have to meet the admissions requirements as well. <clears throat> After that, the next um, program I would like to talk to you about is the PAYS program. It's Partnership for Youth Success. What is PAYS? Partnership for Youth Success program is a strategic partnership between the U.S. Army and a cross-section of corporations, companies, and public sector agencies. The program provides America's youth with an opportunity to serve their country while they prepare for their future. PAYS partners guarantee soldiers an interview and possible employment after the Army. 
This unique program is part of the Army's effort to partner with America's business community and reconnect America with its Army. Benefits. Benefits of the PACE program is you're guaranteed a job interview. That does not mean you're guaranteed that job. You're guaranteed a job interview with, this, with the particular company. You will have advantages over other applicants, specialized training from the most professional organization, and continue to work in a field related to the military occupational specialty that you received during your training while you were in the United States Army or Army Reserves. This is in addition to all of the other educational benefits to include the Montgomery GI Bill, post 9-11 GI Bill, and the Army College Fund. How does it work? You will sign up for the program upon enlistment. Identify a specific company with job needs that match the selected MOS, Military Occupational Specialty. You will then sign a statement of understanding with the company agreeing to an interview provided job vacancies. As you can see here on this slideshow, these are a few of the companies that ha are participating in the Army's PAYS program. There are over 500 companies that are a part of this program. So if you're interested in working for a police department, the railroad company, Sears, Bright House, these are, are businesses that you can look into. Qualifications. To qualify for the PACE program, you will enlist in either entity of the United States Army i.e. Army Reserves or active duty. Sign up for the PACE program. You will complete initial entry training, which is your basic training, be MOS qualified, and honorably discharged if enlist active duty. Okay. On this slide, I've placed my information. Um, like I said, we're located here at the Chandler Recruiting Center at 2100 West Chandler Boulevard, Suite 30. Our office number is 480-963-7870. You can also visit us on our Facebook page, which is the Army Spartan Recruiting Center Chandler. Um, for more information on the PAYS program, you can visit www.armypays.com. All right. Thank you, Staff Sergeant, for that presentation. I know we have a lot of questions from students who are interested right now, um, and we'll get right to those in a second. <clears throat> Again, you guys, if you have any questions, jump into that chat room. Make sure you guys stay on topic in the chat room and you're not going off topic into other areas. Let's make sure that the questions are getting asked so that we can get as many questions in as possible to the Staff Sergeant right now. Um, so we'll go ahead with the first question. Um, do all colleges accept CONAP? Majority of the colleges throughout the U.S. accept CONAP. Once the soldier in, or the future soldier um, is enlists and they become a part of our future soldier program, they will go in and there's a website, the CONAP website, and it lists all of the colleges that are a part of that program. So their college may be on there. But okay. like I said, there's over 1,900 colleges there. So. so you guys will have a lot of options to choose from if you go ahead and go through that CONAP program. Um, are there any GPA requirements for someone to enlist out of high school? No, there are no GPA requirements <coughs> to enlist out of high school. Okay. Uh, high school diploma, do they need to have a they diploma do need or GED? A, um, they can be 17 years old, okay. um, a junior in high school, but of course that's only with parental consent. Um, once they turn 18, they graduate high school, we will need the high school diploma eventually. Okay. So. Perfect. Um, are students coming out of high school able to enlist if they have tattoos? That's a touchy subject, but we would have to look at their tattoos and it's all based off of what the tattoo is and the location okay. of the tattoos. So, you just Potent stop. Potentially, <laughs> yeah, potentially, potentially they could be, okay. Um, now, is there a, a standard length between tours to visit home? Um, 
some students who are looking at enlisting right now, they, is that on a ske set schedule? Does it change? Is there? Well, normally, if you're just enlisting on, regu on you know, regular Army on active duty, um, you receive 30 days of paid vacation. So if you're not deployed or you're just, you know, hey, I'm stationed in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. As long as your chain of command, your leadership is okay with you taking leave to come back home, you're more than welcome to do that. Okay. Um, being deployed, uh, that's what we consider a tour. Mm -hmm. um, that's being overseas. Um, you're, you will be able to come home, but it's just, it's off of a schedule because everybody wants to come home. Yeah. You know, so, but you will also, you will get that opportunity to <coughs> come home. Okay, perfect. Um, are students who might have uh, disabilities such as ADHD or if a student is deaf, are they able to enlist? Is that something that's possible for them? As of right now, no. Um, there are certain disabilities we would have to request waivers for them, okay. but as far as ADHD, no. Okay. Oh, you can't, can't currently have ADHD. Currently have ADHD, okay. Um, are women allowed to wear makeup are allowed to wear makeup and earrings if they are enlisted? We're not taking away <laughs> <laughs> you being a woman. Um, of course, <laughs> being in your you know regular clothes, your civilian clothes, you can wear earrings, you can wear makeup. Being in uniform, you want to make sure that you have a natural appearance. Nothing extravagant, no hot pink lipstick, <laughs> hot pink blush or anything like that. Just have a natural appearance to yourself. Um, being in what I am, the ACUs, we are not allowed to wear earrings. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and get those questions in right now, guys. Um, I know we did have a question earlier, um, and it'll get forwarded over to you guys with more information. Um, someone had asked about the GI Bill and mm -hmm. what they were able to use that for relating to colleges and tuition. Yes, they uh, will be able to use the GI Bill towards um, going to college. It goes up to a bachelor's degree, or if they're trying to go for their <coughs> master's degree, the GI Bill will help assist with that. Okay. Perfect. So, so everyone is afforded that opportunity then to use their GI Bill to, on, uh, like you said, getting a bachelor's degree or pursuing a higher education up to a master's degree right. or anything like that. Perfect. Um, so again, guys, if you have any other questions, uh, right now it looks like we are slowing down on the chat. But if you guys think of anything that pops into your head now and you know in the next 20 minutes uh, when we go off camera, um, go ahead and make sure you fill out that short form that's playing directly below the video. We'll be able to get that information that you send us straight over to Staff Sergeant Means and she'll be able to get back out in contact with anybody who uh, requests more information through that short form. Uh, again, you know, very, very nice having you guys out here. Lovely to meet you. Well, thank and you for having us. We're looking forward to the rest of the presenters that we have the rest of the afternoon. Uh, we've got coming up at 2.40, we've got Brighton College. Uh, and Dominic Arteca is going to be presenting for Brighton College. Again, that's 2.40, so stay tuned. Uh, that'll be our next presentation. We're looking forward to having you guys again.